Hi there and welcome to the first tutorial on doing some simple AI. Um, what I'm going to do is just really quickly I'm going to create a very simple scene for us. I'm going to make a, uh, a ground and some obstacles and then I'm going to show you how to bake this out so that we can um, create um, some AI uh, behaviour and then we're going to program that in a later video. So um, if we get started we're just creating a few um, objects on the scene. Um, I'm just going to create some obstacles so we can see the thing in action. Oh, let me make that one a bit, a bit smaller and duplicate that one and change its rotation so that we've got something to avoid. We can drag these around a wee bit. Duplicate that one again. Move it there. Alright. So um, the AI is one of the things that uh, has changed a little bit in the new Unity. Um, the old method, however, is still around and it does work. Uh, so the brackets tutorial is um, maybe a little bit more complicated than you need with adding on extra things. Um, so I'm just going to show you the the a nice the simplest method possible of um, getting the AI working. So um, what you need to do is when you create your scenery, you need to make sure that the um, that when you set the things that you want to avoid they have to all be set to static so you can see um, all of them up here you see a little tag next to its name um, and what I'm going to do to make my life a lot easier is I'm actually going to um, create an empty object and I'm going to call this um, scenery and then I'm going to drag everything that is the static stuff I'm going to drag that straight onto scenery so that it's all in position, I can still access it and, and move it around underneath as a child but with the scenery selected if I click static it'll ask me do I want to uh, make them all static and I'll say yes so everything here has been marked as static um, the next thing you're going to need is um, you're going to need to have a something as a target so I'm going to click um, 3D object again and just so we can see it we're going to um, make a sphere and um, move it over somewhere. Um, I'm just going to create another material as well um, and just so we can have this stand out a little bit so I'll change that colour to red um, and drag that onto the sphere. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, so um, computer just lagged a little bit. So um, we've got the um, red sphere as our target, and then we're going to create the object that's going to be our our AI. So um, first up, I'm just going to create an empty object. Um, the empty object is going to be we'll call this um, enemy for now, and um, this empty object we can have any mesh we want attached as a child to it. That way if you do actually have a zombie model you could attach um, a zombie to it and then uh, it would look like a zombie rather than looking like something else. So um, as a child of it I'm going to create just a capsule for now um, and drag that on as a child so that we have them all set up ready to go. So enemy, um, I'm going to position enemy somewhere and capsule needs to be in the very center of that so we, the visual thing that we see as the enemy moves moves with it um, because it's a child. I'm um, going to undo the capsule collider for it, in fact I'll just remove that component because we don't really need it because we're going to be using this um, the components we add to the enemy um, and the capsule itself is just the visual. Okay so um, with the enemy selected um, what we're going to add is we're going to add the nav mesh agent and you'll see if we zoom in just a touch you'll see that we have this um, green um, uh, cylinder uh, effectively that uh, takes up position somewhere on that, that enemy and it's a usual humanoid shape so it's around about half a meter radius and it's two meters high um, what I can do is I could change this uh, the values here for the nav mesh for where the where the bottom is, um, but what I'll do instead is just I'll move the capsule up. So if I take the capsule and I know it's two meters high, so if I move its position to one meter up, it's going to be halfway. So if you look now, you'll see it fits perfectly. 
um, and then with the enemy selected I'm just going to move it down so it's approximately on the ground. Okay so um, we're going to write a script for this enemy um, and we're going to start with the simplest possible um, simplest possible code so we'll just start with new script and we'll just call this enemy AI to begin with and uh, I'm just going to open this up right so the enemy AI script is really simple we're just going to access the nav mesh agent that we have as a um, as a component and then we're going to use set destination to set its destination um, couldn't be any simpler So, um, start with the nav mesh agent. So, uh, we don't need to make it public. Um, no, oh, yep, actually, uh, because it's part of uh, the Unity engine. So, using Unity engine.ai in order to get access to the nav mesh agent. And then, nav mesh agent, and we'll call it um, nm. And then, as usual, in start nm equals get component, and we get the com nav mesh agent component. Okay, uh, save the code, and uh, this is just to show it working. This is um, um, highly inefficient, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, we're going to get um, a public transform for where we want it to go. So um, we make this a public transform and we're going to call it um, target for now and then right after we start we're going to set the destination of the target. Now um, this is not really the best way of doing it because we need to be able to have a bit more flexibility so well, we're going to get it working first now and then we're going to show you how to make it a little bit better. So we've got nm dot set destination and then we'll say um, target and because it needs a vector 3 we're going to say target dot position doesn't work with the transform so all this does is it gets a nav mesh agent component calls it nm and then sets the destination of nm and it does that all inside of start when the game starts up so um, if we run back here sorry let's minimize that and uh, we've got one more step to go. Um, obviously, this is the um, the enemy that you can see over here, and we've got the enemy script attached to it. We need to drag the sphere, which was our target, um, the, r the red sphere, as um, onto that public slot, and uh, it should work as long as we have baked out this nav mesh. And I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. So, um, when we uh, want the the navigation. Um, so if you see the windows in here you'll see there's an AI and then navigation and this opens up this navigation tab and we've got a few object a few um, different tabs in here that we can set and you can see all these in the help. Um, basically what we have to go is um, we have to click on uh, the bake one. You can set these if you want to there's um, lots of help in the um, Unity uh, help files that will show you how to set these but um, all we really need to do is to click on uh, bake and that will set the nav mesh um, for the area that you've made. And you'll notice the blue highlighted areas here is the actual nav mesh so you can see you can switch it on and off but the, this shows you where it can go so um, these um, obstacles here you can see it won't go anywhere that there are these obstacles so um, anytime you change the scene for example well you have to move the nav mesh as you can see the the nav mesh hasn't rebaked as I've moved things and this is um, one of the things about having this static nav mesh and it is quite efficient and fast so um, hitting play now um, what you'll see is if I hit play I'm just going to jump um, you won't see much from the camera because it's in a dodgy position but if we click back on the scene view you'll see that this is actually doing exactly what it's supposed to do it's heading towards um, around the obstacles and heading towards the target. Um, if you want to play around with that, um, what you can do is instead of setting the destination, um, it's not a really, I don't recommend doing this, but it's not an efficient way of doing it. Um, 
but what you can do is put it inside of the update and then every single frame it will set the destination to the target position and you might ask uh, why I did that one um, but if you do run this you'll see what it allows you to do um, back in the scene view once this is compiled and run is I can take this and I can actually move it around and the target will head towards wherever the uh, the target is so the enemy will head wherever the target is and it will intelligently follow its path so um, the code is really rough and ready right now but um, we've set up the nav mesh and we've set up some obstacles marked them all as static and we have some basic code to work with the nav mesh agent and uh, in the next video we're going to clean up that code and make it state based and hopefully try and get a little bit more um, function out of it